Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the portfolio. Welcome back to the channel. Again, want to thank all of the supporters on the channel, all the subscribers, all the viewers. Immensely appreciate the support. And if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And again, I'm always looking for new content for the channel. If you guys have any video ideas, anything you want seen posted on the channel, please let me know in the comment threads down below and I'll do my best to get out a video for you guys. For today's video, I thought I would change gears here a bit and talk about a potential trade that cost the portfolio over $200,000, a $200,000 mistake on my part. I did not lose any money on this trade, but this was a potential gain for the stock that has really blown up over the past year, and that is Tesla. So let's go ahead and take a look at Tesla in the portfolio. It recently underwent a stock split, a five for one stock split, meaning if you had one share of Tesla, it is now five shares. You can see here, Tesla currently trading at 449.50, but that's after a five for one stock split. So each, again, each stock that you had in the portfolio prior to the stock split is now worth five shares. You can see I have on the bottom there 35 shares, market value 15,732.50. You can see the incredible total return, $14,074 out of a market value of $15,732. So that represents a total return right around 850%. And if we take a look at the longer term graphs up on top, you can see that phenomenal performance over the longer term, past month, past three months, 124.76%. But if we take a look at a little bit longer time frame. 813.62% over the past year, rising from 48, 47, at one point getting up over, I think almost $500 at one point, 498.32. And over the past five years, again, you can see that phenomenal growth and that very large peak here. Now for my portfolio, I did some options trading with Tesla and unfortunately I sold off on October 11th of last year. Right when it was trading, again, this is adjusted for the stock split, 49.50, and now you can see it's almost 500, 449.50 currently, and spiking up to uh, 490s, 500 at one point. So I lost quite a bit of money on that trade. If I take a look at the history, unfortunately, after the stock split, you do not see it in the history for Tesla here. Let's go down to all the trades on the portfolio. Again, these trades were October 4th and October 11th of last year. Or you don't see any of those orders here, those options orders. You see some market buys here that I put some money into. Uh, fortunately, before the uh, large increase, that's what's accounting for the 850% return on the portfolio. But you don't see those trades here. But let's go to the total history because you definitely can see those there. So if we go back into statements in history, if we go to all history, you can see all of the transactions on the portfolio. And we can scroll down to the transactions back in last November. Since they're so far down, I'll go ahead and skip ahead to those transactions. So you can see the first transaction here. Again, it took quite a bit of time to scroll all the way down to the portfolio. It's probably 500 to 1,000 transactions between this particular order and the current orders that I have. We can see right up on top there, a Tesla 235 put assignment. That was back on October 4th of 2019. If we take a look at that order, we can see one contract that represents 100 shares of Tesla. Tesla price at expiration 231. I put in that put contract at 235, so that was below the strike price. That meant I was required to buy one contract or 100 shares of Tesla at 235 on 10.4. You can see it cost the portfolio 23500 And on the bottom there, you can see Tesla buy 100 shares. So back October 4th, 2019, I bought 100 shares at 235 and This was a series of transactions that I was doing with Tesla at the time, doing options trading. I've now switched over to Boeing, but I was doing quite a bit of options trading with Tesla. So I went ahead and put in this contract. I made money on this contract with the options premium. The 235 put assignment on October 4th. But then I scrolled again through the portfolio to see the call assignment. So I did another contract to sell off those shares. You can see that on the bottom there, Tesla 235 call assignment on October 11th. If we click on that order, you can see one contract. Again, one contract is 100 shares. Price at expiration was 247. So that was above the strike price on this particular order. So again, this was a call order. This was an order I had to sell off. 
Again, you can think about this when you sell these contracts off call, C-A-L-L-S-L, S-E-L-L, a put, P-U-T-S, buy, B-U-Y. That's how I kind of take a look at some of these contracts uh, to remember these. These can get quite complex. So again, this was a call sell I was required to sell off since the price of the stock at expiration was above that particular strike price. I had to sell these shares off. So I sold off 100 shares at 235. So the same price I bought those for. Overall, I made money on the transaction because I made money on the put contract, the prior contract I just detailed, then also this contract in which I sold off the shares. So I didn't really make any capital appreciation, but I made money on the put contract and the call contract. Unfortunately, as we saw earlier, the price of Tesla skyrocketed after that, probably about a week or two after I put in those contracts, unfortunately. If we take a look at the one-year performance, again, going back into October. So this is right around the time frame in which I put those orders in, October 4th, and then October 11th is when I sold off. And since that time, you can see the price of the stock has absolutely skyrocketed. Again, this is adjusted for the stock split. The price of the stock was 235 at that point, but when we take an into consideration a five for one stock split, you can see the phenomenal performance. And if we add all of that up, so 235 is when I bought and sold the stock. If we adjust that for the price of the stock, it was 2,247.50 at this point for the 449.50. And if we take a look at the price difference, that's a potential gain of $201,250. So it lost money on that, a potential gain. So just to be clear, I didn't lose money on this transaction, but because I sold off early after this price of the stock started trending up quite dramatically, I lost a potential trade of $201,250 with Tesla. So that is the risk with options trading. If you get into a stock, you can sell off prematurely. And this could have went the other way too. Tesla could have went down to zero. I could have been holding 100 shares of Tesla. So I would have lost in real money that entire portfolio value, that 23,500 that, that I would have spent on that stock. But again, overall return here, 14,074, 850% up. Just putting in a little bit of money could have had a lot more money into the stock with that put assignment, but sold off with the call assignment. So lost a potential gain of $201, $250, I should say, $250. So just wanted to detail that trade. There's a few comments surrounding that trade that I mentioned in a prior video. So just wanted to go through all of the orders with Tesla and the potential $200 plus thousand dollar loss, or I should say the potential $200,000 gain on the portfolio with options trading with Tesla. But again, let me know if you guys had any similar experiences trading options. It's a high risk, high reward type of trading style. I do not recommend anyone get into options without fully understanding exactly what the trades that they are doing. In my portfolio, it's worked out. I've had some near misses. And like I said, this trade here was a potential very good gain that unfortunately did not happen because I did sell, sell off those shares before the price of Tesla started trending up. But again, just wanted to detail the trade with Tesla here. Again, I don't want to make the video too long, so I'll kind of end it here. If you guys are enjoying the content on the channel, if you guys do enjoy the video series, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you are new to the channel, if there's a particular video that you do not see on the channel currently, let me know in the comment threads down below and I'll do a, my best to get out a video for you guys. Again, not to make the video too long, I'll kind of end it here and we'll see you guys next time.